Hey everybody, we're back once again. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my heart, and again, welcome to all our friends who are here today. Happy Sunday, we're serving, on, we're actually we're cooking on a Sunday today because we had to watch Buffalo beat Baltimore last night. So today we're gonna do a little something with swordfish, pasta, and pistachios. This is a very, again, Southern Italian, Sicilian type dish. Uh, I love pistachios in every form. Um, what we're going to do here is actually create a sauce with some ground pistachios. We're going to accent it with some crunchier pistachios. Get a lot of nice. That was Gemma in the background, by the way. You probably picked that up. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know me and my wife, Deline, we have five uh, adopted dogs that we absolutely adore. Uh, hopefully, one of these days we'll be able to work them into our uh, our episodes. Um, so anyway, casadeche pasta with swordfish, tomatoes, and pistachios. Uh, we're going to start by browning off, just getting a little flavor of garlic into the extra virgin olive oil. You can see there, it's just starting to turn color. You never want to burn garlic because you get nothing but bitterness if you do. I've got a perfect brown on there. We're going to scoop this out, and I'll have a beautiful garlic-infused olive oil here. All right. We're going to add the tomatoes. Now, you could use cherry tomatoes. You could use you know, red, yellow tomatoes. I picked up some San Marzano tomatoes, which I quartered and seeded. We're going to throw that in. And we're going to cook those till they start to break down. Breaking down the tomatoes probably takes a good five or six minutes, but we'll just kind of hang with it. I've got my water boiling for my pasta, which we're going to drop uh, once I get all the ingredients of the dish into the pan. All right. Just a couple more minutes. I've got some fresh swordfish, which I have cut uh, up in cubes. I've taken off the skin, cut out the blood vein, and just some nice, beautiful pieces of fresh swordfish, which we're gonna add here just in just a minute. You can start to see the tomatoes start to break down. You start to see a little liquid forming in the bottom of the uh, pan. I wish Marco was here. All right. I think we can start, we can add the swordfish now. So we're gonna throw the swordfish in. I'm gonna toss that around a little bit. The smells coming off of that pan right Right? The garlic, the tomato, oh, the swordfish. I feel like we eat this time with that, but you had smell a vision right now. <laughs> I used to work in a restaurant in Fells Point in Baltimore, Maryland, and Fells Point is the home of uh, film uh, maker John Waters. He did a, a film called Polyester. John Waters did a lot of really out, out there movies, and he made this movie, uh, and he did it in smell vision So you actually went into the theater, and you got a card with all the different circles of different smells, and when the number flashed on the screen, you knew to scratch it and smell it, so you were actually <laughs> right there in the movie. It was, it was wild. I'd rather just make <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Take a guess what it smells like. All right, so we're starting to get a nice little cook on the swordfish. You never want to overcook your fish. It gets a little chewy. All right. Um, I've got some ground pistachios. I sh uh, shelled these just uh, yesterday, and I ran them through my little fob processor here. So I'm going to throw that in. About a half a cup. I'm making a little bit less than the typical recipe calls for. Um, we'll stir that in, and what that'll do is actually thicken things up and actually start to create a sauce. I'm going to hit it with some white wine and some fresh thyme that I picked earlier. Two things I don't have enough of, wine and thyme. <laughs> I can help you with one of them. All right, let's smack it with the wine. All right, the idea when you have wine with food is to compliment, to just kiss it and just give it a wonderful so compliment. White wine with seafood, red wine more typically would be. Typically. Now you can find lighter styled red wines. I like, you know, Pinot Noirs and, and lighter styled red wines. Italy's got some wonderful light bodied 
uh, um, red wine varietals. What do you guys love? Uh, I have a, a, actually a vegan red wine that's a, a, a blend of Frappato and, uh, and Syrah. Very light, very fresh, very fragrant uh, a kind of red wine I like to put in the fridge for about 10 minutes before I serve. Uh, that is something I would absolutely love with something like this. In fact, I have a bottle and we could try it. All right. So as you can see in the pan, we're actually starting to get a nice little sauce going. I'm going to crank up the heat on the uh, water here. I had to back it down just a little bit. I'm going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. Up, up. A little crushed red pepper. I love those yeah, those little pe potatoes, salt and pepper shakers. All right. Um, and then I have a pistachio oil, which I happen to find online, and I'll we'll just put a little drizzle of that in there as well. <laughs> Because, yeah, oil. <laughs> All right. So we got a nice, basically I've created a nice little sauce there. We're going to let that simmer just a little bit. I'm going to turn it down. Uh, water is just about ready. We're going to drop some pasta. I chose Casareche just like the shape and the way the pasta kind of just takes in the sauce and the sauce just hugs it and kisses it and makes love to it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to do about that much since, again, we're not doing a full order. Set that there. Always salt your water. Never be afraid to oversalt it. And we'll let that cook for a little less than 10 minutes. Uh, rule of thumb for me is whatever the package says for al dente, minus it one minute. And you know, I usually take it up on so. Packet tells me to cook it for 10, I'm going to cook it for 9. Don't it's, know they don't know out that thing. Well, they, these guys kind of do, but, you know, but I'm also going to let the pasta cook in the sauce a little bit too. So, uh, you know, you got to always factor those things in. So we'll let that cook. We'll come back in just a few minutes. All right, our sauce is done. Our pasta's cooked. We're going to have to strain it out and put it right into the sauce. I love my casa de leche. Hi, Gemma! <laughs> Sing to me, baby. You smell it? I'll bring a dish. All right. She's happy. That's exactly what she wanted to hear. Let's get them all out of there. That's a cool spoon. Oh, this is great for the things. For pasta like, like this. So much stuff I, I can't use it for the bucatini, but it's good for this. I have every utensil is. I don't have that. Look at the color in that sauce. Nice, and nice see it, like, pink. Off of the, off of the nice and pink. Just, oh, that's for, uh, this is mine. <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some pistachios. Give it a little crunch in the plate. I could do this after you've played it up if you want, but I want to kind of get some of the flavor work into it and onto it. There's no such thing as a recipe. <laughs> it originates. Is this yours? Fries. This is something I made. I, I had cooked for our suite at WSWA a couple years ago, and it was just. It is got uh, Southern Italian lineage, uh, Sicily in particular, with the fish and the pistachios. Um, so we're almost done. All right, that wraps up another episode of Fats with the Flavors at. Uh, Casadecci pasta with swordfish, tomatoes, and pistachio. I hope you all enjoyed it. I love I'm wearing it. All right, he's wearing it. Bravo. All right. Bravo. Bravo. Um, wine pairing wise, uh, you know, again, you hear swordfish, you think white wine. Not necessarily. This is a tomato based sauce, uh, and I'm one who will always look for a reason to drink red wine with anything I eat. Uh, I'm going again to Sicily. Uh, I'm doing something in particular that's a little bit different from a lot of wines. It's a vegan wine called Vigania. Uh, and it's a Frappato Syrah blend from Sicily. Again, we love our Southern Italian wines. 
very light, very fragrant, very fresh, and again, just a perfect complement to seafood and red sauce. Uh, so we will, in a moment, raise our glass, but before we do, this guy next to me over here is doing a show. Well, he, this is my paisano, but <laughs> you, guys, you guys don't understand. <laughs> Anthony's Fra Napolitano. Hey, fratello. I thought all we had me was... Me fratello. I thought all we had was Sicilians in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a few Blessed of us. with a paisan. That's it. Sorry, a, little, uh, a little Napolitano song. This is, this is for my grandmother. Hey. Che bella cosa, na giornata il sole. I'm so excited. Na ria serena. I think I'm aroused. Dopo una tempesta, <laughs> per l'aria fresca, pare già una festa. Che bella cosa, na giornata il vino. A salut. A salut. <laughs> this guy is performing live in Boca Raton at the Boca <laughs> Black Box. That's like right. An angel. And rolling out uh, in little little Valentine available wherever uh, music can be streamed or sold online. Uh, comes out February fourteenth. New album. So again, thank you so much for being here. Thank Paisan, you, my brother. And uh, you made this show extra special as did all of you for being here today. And, and that's where the flavors yeah. at. Don't you forget <laughs> it. <laughs> See y'all next time. Salute. Ciao. Arrivederci.